Speaking of lunch, we're headed back to camp for one of John's famous shore lunches. Come early spring, it's getting green. Fisher on the bed. Hear those turkeys gobble. It's ringing in my head. Oh, we forgot the turkeys are fish. He went a rice bass boat. He comes right another back. year. <laughs> yeah, we command the outdoors round here. Oh, we command the outdoors. Yeah, we, we have our store lunch today. Command the so today we're gonna have we got some pork chops. We'll do some fried potatoes and onions, and uh, we've got some dessert that's always prepared. Joe makes us a really good cook box. So yeah, that's a fancy little box you got there. Yeah. We have everything we need in it. It's our pork chops. We got a fire starter. We got our bag with our potatoes and onions. We got our fixings for our guide coffee. Guide coffee. Yes, well, that'll be a treat, won't it? You've never had coffee like it. I think you're going to enjoy it. And there's our dessert for afterwards. All right. So, what we'll do is we'll get this stuff set up. I'll get prepping on the potatoes and onions. We'll get the oil in the big pan, we'll get it going, and uh, get coffee on first. What you got in this little bag of tricks here? Well, let's show you the, the tools of the trade. So here's our coffee pot. Out on the island, these waters are so clear that uh, we can take the water right out of the lake. Boil it, the temp you know, boil it up past the uh, temperature to get any impurities out of the water, and we can make the coffee right out of the lake water. But that's our that's our guide coffee pot. And then in the tools of the trade here, the kitchen on wheels practically. Yeah, kitchen in a bag. <laughs> so depending on what we're cooking, we're frying, we've always got our, our ladle for frying. A couple of good pans. We always cook over a hot fire, so uh, Cast iron, people talk about cast iron's great for this, cast iron's great for that. It's great when you're camping, but when you got to get off a boat, get on the island, and cook, lug, and lug go, it up hills and lug it up hills, yeah. good old fashioned fryware is the way to go. Right here. A couple of pans. Um, we always cook potatoes and onions different ways. So if some folks don't like onions, we can cook the onions separate from the potatoes or if they like both, we can cook them all together. Get that flavor. I guess we'll be cooking them all together today. We'll be doing them all together. <laughs> then we have our hooker runes. Uh huh. Each end have hooks. We use these for taking things off the fire when the fire is real hot, so you don't burn your hands. And the other ends, I've got them outfitted: one with a spatula, and then one with a fork. So very nice. Depending on what we got to do, homemade, custom made, right there. Four tools and two implements. There you go. Yeah. Then we have our broilers, which is what we, we cook the uh, proteins with. So we always have an option. Yeah, okay, your proteins are. Yeah, we always have an option. And uh, if you opt for a shore lunch, you get to choose beforehand. So uh, you can go with pork chops, steak, chicken, or I'm trying to talk our lead guy and they'll let me cook hamburgers too. <laughs> we'll see if that happens. It hasn't happened yet. Well, you know, if I request it next time I come, you can get it, maybe. <laughs> so, and these are broilers, they're all pretty much the same. Bigger basket, thicker for the chicken. Smaller ones for fish, steaks, and chops, depending on what you're cooking. So, I usually bring it all, we usually bring everything when we cook on a cook site, so we're prepared. Right. Uh, sometimes you might join up with another guide and uh, help know, each other out. Help each other out, uh, get the fire going. You know, one guide can get the prep work done, one can concentrate on the fire and the coffee, so... Uh, yeah, in this area, these uh, sites that we're using are really remote. They're, yeah. they're right out on an island in the middle of a lake, or, you know, you pull up the boat and up here we come to get something to eat and cook up for 
what do you say, it's about an hour or so from start to finish if we aren't here filming? Yeah, <laughs> Typic know? yeah typically our goal is from the time we put the boat on shore, um, get the fire going, get the coffee going, uh, start prepping the onions and the potatoes, get that frying up, get the protein together, eat, clean up, fire out, back in the boat, back on the water fishing in an hour is what, we, is what, is what we aim that's, for. That's pretty good. And it's a great time to give you, get your land legs back, yeah. take yeah. a breath. Yeah, if you've been on the boat all day, it's nice to get out and stretch. And, yeah, and yeah. Uh, relax. And yeah. uh, I know that today I'm still doing this. Yeah, you still, still got your sea legs. Yeah, I do, yeah. <laughs> so I'm yeah. feeling it already, so. Yeah. We bring our own wood with us, our own cook wood, mm -hmm. with our wood bag. So uh, we're basically prepared to cook anywhere anywhere that's got an approved cook site so as guys we get year-long uh, fire permits for cook sites so we want to cook on bottle island or we want to cook on uh, mckinney point or we want to cook on any of the other islands that have approved fire sites right depending on where we're fishing we can choose a close one that we know will work best for that day if the wind's coming from the north we want a, a cook site where we can get out of the wind that way if it's coming from the south there's other places where we can get on that's a that's a good thing to mention though with the the do-it-yourselfers out there is the fact sure. that when you're a guide we're you're one of the only people that can get these permits right for a year permit that's right to cook like that that's otherwise right. they must have to get like a conditional day weekend pass or something to do any cooking I don't know how that would work for somebody who's you know that's coming along on a canoe tour or something coming down through all this chain right. of lakes that are here yeah you know and they want to stop at these same campsites they're legally not supposed to be starting fires right out there yeah anytime you in the state of maine all open burning you need to have a burn permit yeah issued by the department of agriculture Con conservation and forestry so all these cook sites that that are approved cook sites have signs to let you know you have to have a fire permit right now you can cook there and it's just as easy as contacting them they, you can get them by the website or you can get them by uh, the telephone number mm -hmm. um, and they can issue a permit so okay. if you're planning a trip on your own it's best to know where you're going to be stopping and get your permits ahead of time I see, yep. if you hire a guide we can cook anywhere because you get the one year blanket we, permit yeah, we, got we can do that the, at these types of cook that's sites right. so and that's, typically that's our a difference yeah. with, between it you know that the guides can do these kind of things so typically our locations are more remote mm -hmm. than folks that do their own trips correct so um you know, our permits are in unorganized territories a lot where there's no cell service or there's no ability to contact somebody to get, to a, get permit. a permit. Right. So, uh, plus we've been through the, we've been through the you know, certification process mm -hmm. that, you know, we know how to extinguish fire properly with stoking the coals and, and getting it out and, and watering it down and make sure it's out. So, right. um, you know, we can, we can cook all year long. Good. Okay. So what we'll do now is uh, let's get, get this started. fire going, get this guy coffee going, and we'll get the prep. There we go. Okay. Let's get it done. Bonfires on the creek bank, kick back a couple beers. Yeah, we command the outdoors around here. Yeah, we command the outdoors. World famous. You only get it out with the main guides. They don't Especially. serve this down at the breakfast place down at the local they don't. corner store. They don't. And typically you only find this really in the Grand Lakes region, uh, the fishing guides in the Grand Lakes region. So mm -hmm. it's even more specialized too. Right. You know? Exactly. So what are you going to do here? So what we're going to do is we have our coffee ready to go. Okay. It's filled about a quarter, third of the way of coffee, and an egg. Secret ingredient. Egg's a secret ingredient. Yeah. So basically when we make the guy coffee, what we're trying to do here is keep the grounds out of your coffee. Mm -hmm. So like old cowboy coffee, they would just dump this in there, you would drink it, and you would get grounds in your... Well, what the egg does is we're gonna mash this stuff in here, shell and all. Not only does it give it a little flavor, but when this mixture goes in the coffee, in the hot coffee, the, the grounds, as it, as it brews, the grounds will stick in a clump with the, with the egg. 
it'll stick in one clump. And once that clump drops in the coffee, we can see it. And we know we just got just a couple of minutes and it'll be ready to serve. Right, done. So right, done. we'll go ahead and get this going. Yep, folks, he's uh, literally put that whole egg shell and all in that coffee and he's beating it to death inside them coffee grounds. And I just made that Maxwell House coffee better. <laughs> Maxwell House. Hot water rolling over there, huh? Go ahead and get our coffee on, get our water boiling. While that's boil, getting ready to boil, actually it's more of a light rolling boil. We'll get that going, get the coffee ready. And we'll start prepping Fever starts our uh, potatoes and onions while that's getting warm. Fill our freezers Yo. full of ducks, lots of tender deer. Yeah, we command the outdoors around here. Yeah, we command the outdoors. They're warming up. Yeah, we command the outdoors. What we'll do is we'll make some uh, guide fries today. Staple of all the short lunches are onion and potatoes and your protein. So because we eat potatoes and onions a lot, we try to do it different here and there. So a couple different ways we do it. We do chips like this, or I'm going to make fries today. Sometimes we do home fries. I see. Yeah. Cold weather, damp, you know, home yeah. fries, we mix them up. So uh, just try to do it a couple different ways. So what we like to do is get these potatoes cooking first. They take a little longer. And once they're about halfway ready, we'll just go ahead and add these onions. Typically our ratio is one potato uh, per guest and then one onion for two potatoes, roughly. And we cook, to, we cook the season. Some folks like more onions, some like less, some don't like any. So in this instance, we all like onions and potatoes, so we're just going to cook them all together and get the flavor. I'm just going to go ahead and get this coffee mixed up. You can see the mixture. Yummy. And now we got a little royal going. Just going to go ahead and dump our mixture right in our coffee pot. Let's do it then. Perfect. Oh, here it goes. We're getting ready to pour the coffee. All right, so our coffee's ready. Got the old hook of room. Bring it over and pour it at the table. We need smell-o-vision, people. That smells good. And there we have it. Here comes a good pot. Yeah. These guys are just about ready. Today we're having pork. Cooks fairly quickly. So we're getting our set up right there. Maybe him. Try to get him embedded a little. Boom. <laughs> and then we'll be back and then things will be done and we're gonna eat. No stick. No stick. No sir. No stick. Money. <laughs> Perfect. 170 on a button. It's something. It's something 70. <laughs>
It's something 70s, Steve. There you go. You guys can start getting your plates together and I'll bring the potatoes over. All right, cameraman's putting the camera away. It's time to it's eat. It's time to eat. Because we command the outdoors around here. We command the outdoors. Steve? What do you think? These potatoes are around here. <laughs> We'd like to thank Bevan Warbitz, owner of Wild Fox Cabin, their resident guide Joe Jack, and John Floyd of Tucker Ridge Outdoors, who also guides out of Wild Fox Cabins, for the great hospitality. Main Fishing TV would like to highly recommend giving the staff at Wild Fox Cabins a call for your next pristine outdoor adventure in Maine.